aka Ask the Yacht Guy here in beautiful Miami with Peter Thompson of Thompson, Westwood and White. Got it. Took us a few times to get that. Anyway, we are here on board Turquoise 238 foot Quantum of Solace. Stay tuned to the end because this is super exclusive. Not many people have seen the inside of this, myself included. I was just a beautiful boat. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. You guys are gonna enjoy it. We're gonna head inside. Taylor, we'll get off that tender. We'll meet you inside as well. And uh, let's do it. Stay to the end though. Cheers. Stay to the end. See you there. So I'm interrupting this video for a quick trivia question. Can you guess how much this yacht costs to purchase? and how much is it is to charter. Leave your answer in the comments below. And don't cheat, we know who you are. So we're here on the swim platform of Quantum of Solace by Turquoise Yachts. We're gonna get this show started. Peter, tell me a little bit more about where we are right now and what happens here. Well, this is the aft end of the vessel. This is where you arrive, you leave. This is the point of embarkation, uh, disembarkation. Here we have a transformer uh, platform which goes right down under the water. So if you're swimming, you just come onto the platform and you walk up an elegant staircase. Like a boss. And then, you know, outside on the, in the, on the water here, we'd have an in-water pool that has the, uh, the netting underneath it to keep it safe. If there's any jellyfish in the, in the area, they don't get in that pool. Uh, and we'd lay it out with all the sea bobs and everything that we have on board, but we'll catch up with those later. Perfect. Stay tuned and we're off. Peter, after you. All right, so here we are aft deck. Peter, what well, do you think the guests like to do here? This is typically the area where the guests come on board and they start their relaxation. They sit down, take their shoes off, the crew will take their bags, take them to the suites inside. Everything starts relaxation, the cold towels, a nice cold drink, maybe a chilled water. Somebody might like a glass of champagne and this is where the vacation starts. Well, let's get inside these cool doors. You're gonna see some really cool stuff. And uh, vacation starts here, but some stuff is really gonna go down in here. Check this out, guys. Inside, main salon, the ultimate entrance, Peter, before we get you telling us about what's going on here, Taylor, I need you to come a little closer and check out the headspace in this place. This is absolutely stunning. I was talking to Peter earlier. There are four yachts in the world oh, yes, that the have atrium like an this. atrium like this. This is one of four. So this is amazing. Tell me a little bit more about this amazing space. I noticed we have a bar behind us, piano, couch, what goes on in here? Well, this is, this is the main salon, and it's the main salon. This is where people congregate. It's close to the water. It's got this, the headroom. It's got, it feels majestic. It's, it's a space where people want to be, sit down at the bar, nice low seating at the bar, comfortable seating area there. All of this is brand new as well. And you know, you're sinking in the corner there. You're feeling, you're feeling it, aren't you? I, you know, the only way to experience it is to actually experience it. So you're talking about it, and, and I'm getting it, but now I'm really getting it. These couches are amazing. I, I don't even know if I want to get up. Taylor, I tell you to sit down, but you got a camera in your hand, so I'll enjoy it for you. Um, Peter, this is absolutely stunning. So let me just tell you, this Steinway Grand Piano, fortunately, we don't have to pay one of the crew to play it. It plays itself. It's got about 2,000 tunes in there. It's an original German, Steinway, and it is beautiful. It's about a quarter of a million dollars worth of uh, Steinway piano there. That's absolutely amazing. Would there, any be a way, would there be any way we can check that out? See we'll that, that in action? We'll get that sorted out in a couple of minutes. I'll have somebody come through and start, start it playing. Let's do it. Mama, just kill the man. Put a gun up to his head. Don't know the other words, it's all right. Ha, ha, ha. 
moving forward to this beautiful dining area. Let's have a look at the dining area. Let's do it. So in the dining area here, uh, we have a true 12 seater. Look at these, these seats. You can be fairly comfortable in those seats. Don't have to keep your elbows in when you're at this table. I love it. Yeah, and absolutely love it. What do you think of the Microsoft screen? That Microsoft screen, you know, I was looking at this earlier for about five minutes and um, completely tranquil, except I feel a little guilty eating some seafood over here. You might have to do something about that. These guys might get upset. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> seafood, yeah, off the menu. We put a curtain in front when it's seafood. So they don't, yeah, yeah. So they don't see it, that's yeah. great. Auntie Mabel's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew her. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna move into the guest quarters, but before we get there, we have... Well, we've got the main lobby. This is the vertical access to the boat, so it goes down to the spar, up to the upper deck, and it has the elevator shaft that goes right through the vessel. Let's check it out. Every, every single piece of this vessel is handcrafted. It's the factory that makes the interior of the boat is probably one of the best in the world. So we should mention that uh, the interior and exterior of this boat were designed by H2. H2, correct. H2 Yacht Design. And um, they've done some really great boats as well. So Tyler, Quantum of Solace. Here's the movie poster. Every boat that this gentleman has owned and built is named after a James Bond movie. So. If it's a James Bond movie, we're struggling with the current title, but we'll get there. Yeah, the new title of the new movie is Too Many Times to Die or something. <laughs> no Time to Die. No Time to Die. I was close. Yeah, it's a mouthful for us. Quantum of Solace is a, big, is, is, a big, is a big name, but No Time to Die, when we thought about that, we thought, is that the right name for a boat? Well, you but know, it is No Time to Die on the end. It's going to be a fast boat. It will be a fast boat. It will be a fast boat. Anyway, whatever he decides to do next, I'm sure it's going to be stunning. I've seen all the other boats, Octopussy, Diamonds Are Forever, and they're always just something everybody loves. So well, he's one of the most experienced owners in the business. What? And, you know, this is boat number 21. It's 21, 21. Every yacht, every 007 movie that's ever been out, this guy has made a yacht with the name for that movie. So uh, I'm really excited to see what he does next. You wait, wait, wait and see. In about uh, two years time, it'll be out. In two years, and guess what? Who's giving you a tour? We'll be there. Where to next? Guest quarters on the main deck here. Let's go. Let's take a look down there. Look at that corridor, too. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful. Back in Tupelo in 1935, baby boy rocked the world, the rhythm came alive. Here comes the king. All silk rugs. Yeah. Transitions from marble to wood. I like the different combinations, not just one solid material on the no. floor, but it's a combination of all. So this space here is typically used either for nannies or for security or something like that. These couches can be reconfigured into beds. There's a bathroom here. And as we call it the nanny cabin, it's because it has a communicating door through into what's typically the children's cabin. Now we haven't got it set up with a children's cabin at the minute, Alex, because there's no train set or doll's house in here. But That's you right. can imagine, look at the space. Easy enough to do. Yeah. Kids have plenty of room to set up and, and do yeah. what they do what kids do play yeah, exactly. you're gonna have tours they have their own bathroom here tv yeah walk-in closet oh, you yeah. were telling me earlier that every room has a walk-in closet every room has a walk -in every closet. room has a walk-in yeah. closet and a good size too yeah. so then we have four suites ahead so wait, that's two so these are the two smaller vips and queen size bed bathroom heated floor Look at this, the headroom in this. It is you know, amazing. You can touch the ceiling. I was ceiling. just gonna say you that. Can touch, but I, can. I can you just can barely just. touch the ceilings uh, till you get that. But still, I don't have no reason to be waving my arms up like a, like yeah. a monkey, so. And you know, you don't hear the air conditioning. It's diffused by diffusers around there. It's so ultra silent. It's made to keep things super quiet. So Silent, quiet windows, I imagine. Two nights ago, there was a salsa party on the dock there. They must have had 100,000 watts of power. It was on the outside, it was on the dock, and they had this big sound stage and everything, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm just not gonna be able to sleep. I closed the door here. Didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. Allegedly, it finished at three in the morning. I didn't know. Did you say there was a salsa party? Yeah. You know, in Puerto Rican? You're telling me you can dance salsa? Do I dance salsa? Do I dance salsa, people? Dance now, if, salsa. if I had a girl here, I'd step all over her toes. By myself, I'm an amazing dancer. 
<laughs> Let's start the dancing aside, move on to the next bedroom. Have a look at the marble work in that bathroom. The inlay is just amazing. This just looks like some pearl inlay in here. Mother of pearl inlay. Mother of pearl, all hand done, I imagine. Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. I'm not moving while you can get my feet out of the way. That is beautiful. Head, I think the whole thing is called the head. Even though I always just consider the head the, this part. Marble sink, beautiful shower. Again, insane headroom in there. The shower I'm in now, I kind of got it tucked down to get into it. Uh, Taylor, I don't think, has any problems. He's well, a you know, shorter than I am. We're, 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 we're not vertically challenged like you. <laughs> yeah. Moving forward. Two larger VIPs, Alex. These two. are beautiful. Mirror images of each other, one with a tub and one with a, one with a full shower. Double VIPs. Double VIPs. I'm gonna go right. These VIPs are often on the lower deck and you get Little ditty portal. Right. Yeah, you know, look at that. Look at the no, windows. Get we have proper great windows. Big windows. And, and the, usually the windows, even if they're large, you kind of got to get down to look. This is a proper window. You can actually stand here, look out, enjoy the view while you're away. Walk in closets. Yeah. These are VIP rooms. So imagine the VIP the closets are going to be a lot larger. This is one closet. Bathroom, absolutely amazing closet space here so it's more of an open walk-in closet where Correct, it's actually yeah. you can just move around and add with a, a, instead of a door if you look around right behind peter signed by all of the actors well that was the name of the, the previous yacht we had. i remember yeah. so the whole 007 vibe stays with the yacht you know something usually very very few people change, change the name the i names. think one guy changed the name and he, it was the guy when we, we had a previous Quantum of Solace. Yeah, well, he called it Elysium, so we had to fill the <laughs> gap. So that's why we call this Quantum of Solace. So check this out. These doors connect the rooms, interconnecting. And, uh, oh, here's hey, Peter what are you right doing here. there? Uh, you're in your room. I'm in my room. He's in his room. Where are you You're in your room. <laughs> Looks like a mirror. We could have did like a mirror thing. We could have done thing. that. Yeah, we could have done like, that funny my, mirror thing. Yeah. Hey, mirror how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get so handsome so quickly? <laughs> so Alex, let me tell you now. This is where you'd usually have the master suite and everything like that, but we have six suites here, okay? So normally, those six suites, four of them at least, would be on the lower deck. So what did we do with the lower deck on this boat? Let's find out. We'll find out. This is the space that makes this boat special. Actually, one of the spaces that makes this boat special. One of many. This is where we did the intro, right? So if you guys remember at the very beginning of the video, Peter and I were standing out here, champagne in hand, then we walked in, but this is such a special space that uh, I don't know another boat that I wanted to come back to yeah. it and um, not start here, but come into it because this is just amazing. Taylor right now is on a deck that opens up off the starboard side. That is the side of the boat that's folded down. Super beautiful sun deck. Tell me about what we are looking at here because this is just mind blowing. Me personally, would probably spend the majority of my time down here. So what we have here is we have a, a little snug area. We've got a little fireplace. No heat coming out of it, but for ambiance and to have a meeting, you can sit down here, have a meeting, you can relax. It's a chill out area. It is. It and is. then when you're chilling out here and you think, how about a steam bath? I like it. You like it? Let's go and find the Turkish man. Last boat I was on, it was a Turkish imam. I got to use it. You did? Yes, I did. All right, well, let's see if we can get you into this one when you come across for your cruise. Well, this one here is ginormous. You can hear the echo in here. Marble tile. Oh, inlay. See, uh, but this is, this is just beautiful. So, the heat, the steam, you're, you're, you're feeling it. 
Then you step outside, you take a shower, or you can run out, jump over the side in into the ocean. ocean. Here we have ice, ice, I, ice cold water, steam, steam injection. There, get a big soup spoon here. That's it. You throw the water on yourself. That's what cold water. Cold yourself. water. Exactly. Cold, cold water. water on yourself. Yourself. Ice water in there, and that's what cold water. Let's Continue. check out this giant jacuzzi. Well, that's a, that's a chromotherapy pool. A chroma chromotherapy. Pool. Therapy. Well, I've never even heard of a chroma. Well, it's you know, it's light treatment. You know, a red light gives you this, and a blue light gives you that. And then... This is crazy. So you're. A big I'm six four. This comes up to my waist, right? And then you sit down. If and I sat down and this was full. Yep. Over your shoulders, man. I'd be head deep. Yep. Head deep in this. So, after staying here, imagining there's some water in here, jump out, hit the weights. Then take a shower. Then take a shower. Because then we towel you down and we send you in here for the massage therapy. Little massage therapy yeah. can never do anybody wrong. By the way, I've never in my life had a massage. You haven't? A, a proper massage, never, ever. So uh, when we finally do it, I guess we'll do uh, it on camera. This is stone therapy. Stone therapy. No, we have, we have a, a full-time spa therapist on board. Wow. Beautician, hair, makeup, nails, you name it, but the massage side of it is the most important side. Just amazing. Oh, you guys, we need smell-o-vision, because if you guys could smell this stuff, it's just fantastic. So here we have weight room. Alex, you gonna show me how it's done? This, I, I, I can definitely attempt to show you got the 80 pounds on there. I like to do the 80. That's the eight. It's all the same. Yeah. It's an eight in it. This is really cool. Get in here, do your workout. You can put your baby in here while you're working out. Keep the kids safe. And um, <laughs> workout's over. Well, after that workout there, you can't walk up the stairs. You'll be exhausted. Absolutely. So let's I'm take already the elevator. exhausted. I can imagine. So let's take the elevator up here. There the we go. Opens. And there we have our Quantum of Solace elevator. After you. Thank you very much. See you guys upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in coming yeah. In. Flex, I just wanna win, just yeah. Wanna win. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right, so, what deck are we on? Well, this is the this is the owner's deck. Owner's deck. The owner's deck, and we are gonna go and see one of the most sumptuous owner's suites you've ever seen. Ah, I'm excited. Owner's suite. I like VIP, but owner sounds better. not just a cabin, it's like a whole apartment. Well, this room is bigger than my first apartment. This room is bigger than my current apartment. <laughs> Leather sofas, it's probably 65 inch screen TV, king size, California king, size California king bed. As you know, no tour is complete without at least giving this, oh man, it is like a massive pillow. Oh my gosh, my back. Ah, oh, this is great. Feel a vision. Maybe that's the one. Smell a vision is old. Feel a vision where you guys can feel what I feel. I don't want to get out of that. That was really comfortable. I just noticed. So we've got a 65 over here. Right in front of the bed. There's well, a. What happens if you don't want to get out of bed and watch a 55. television? 55. Exactly. <laughs> two, two massive televisions in the room. Beautiful deck. And you guys are gonna enjoy this. Anybody who's a pet lover like me, I don't have any pets because I travel too much. I would love to have one. Although my daughter has a dog named Charlie, who is a French bulldog. Whoa. And this would be perfect for him because every time I'm over there, I feel like I'm letting him out. So check this out, guys. Charlie, this one's for you. Beautiful tech outside. So the balconies on either side, you know, you have the fresh air. There's a way of programming the doors to stay open if you prefer just the al, al fresco lifestyle. Either side, you can have the breeze coming through the boat. Absolutely beautiful. Very few boats have the fixed balconies. On I either love side the, the fixed balconies. Yeah. I think having them is, is amazing. I mean, I've seen different types. Ones you just walk out to like this, some open up for you. But I think as an owner, you have to have them. And also, it, you know, the ones that flip out and everything, you might have to have a crew member come in. Right, and right, right. And everything right. here, you just open the door. Just open the door, yeah. yeah. And then, like I said, they're different in every, in every boat. Now, coming forward, 
we have this ginormous, and again, I think even this is bigger than my apartment. <laughs> this is huge. Look at this bathroom, guys. This is crazy. Heated floors, I feel the heat. Oh, I feel the Heated floors, beautiful marble, and I don't know what is this That's stone. Onyx. onyx sink, right? Check out the fixtures. Super polished. Again, Super crew amazing. did an amazing job. Floors, everything chrome in here is polished to the T. His and hers, or his and hers, depending on which way you want to go. I imagine that's hers because there's a nice little area there for the missus to do her makeup. And there's a madame's dressing room right here, and monsieur has his dressing room just outside. It's just outside the other side. Yeah. Massive. This is a jacuzzi oh, bath. Yeah. It is, but it's also like an infinity pool as well because it's got it's got comes the right over yeah, the edge. Right over the edge. I love it. Yeah, you get in right that and you know up to here again. That's the best way to do it. You know, I get in most bathtubs and I'm still I'm sitting. Only half of me can get in, top half or bottom half. So this is great. This is the walk-in closet for him. Digital grandfather clock. His walk-in closet. All right. So let's head back to the cinema room. This is it. Cinema room, time to watch a movie. And you know my favorite show, The yep. Yak Eye Fish. So make sure you're watching it. Watching what else but Quantum of Solace on board Quantum, Quantum of Solace. Solace. What else would you watch? I don't know. Well, we could watch the Yak Guy, but we're not. We'll get that TV. The Yak Guy Yacht official guy on YouTube. But I like the sound of that. Can you imagine that though? Your own TV. I can. Channel? I can Yacht totally. TV. I can totally imagine it. So what's better than watching James Bond Quantum of Solace on board Quantum of Solace? Hmm. Sure, I can think of something. Quantum of Solace. Guarded by the world's most advanced security. Getting on board is impossible. Nobody has ever seen the inside. And there's only one man who can give us a tour. He goes by the name of Guy. The Yacht Guy. Woo! Coming soon to a YouTube near you. <laughs> <laughs> now that! It's better than James Bond. Well, it's a matter of opinion, but oh. you know what? I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. So moving aft from here and James Bond aside, there's a lot more to show on this boat. Exterior spaces to but die let, for. Let's have a look at the atrium from above. Let's we do it from below. You look and down. That's where you were sitting at the beginning of the movie. And that's where we and started. That's where we started. Have I showed you my piano playing skills? Oh, here we go. Just a little bit. Got him, got him. As you go through the boat, you can see a lot of the artwork on here and um, this massive thing here. And it's all laid out really nice. Everything blends in together. Silk rugs downstairs. So here we are, beach club, club, deck, yeah. whatever you want. Automatic opening door with the wind. It is. Yeah, you see that? See what happens in here. We make we make the intro and the door just opens for us. The, the door opens. Anyway, let's go inside and check that out. So we've also got the sea bobs, the jet surfs. So we've got two. We've we got three of these. Yep. Three of these. Two of those. Two of the jet surfs. Two of these sweet jet skis that say Quantum of Solace right on them, black and red matching. These things probably move. I would love to get these out on the water. And here we've got the climbing, climbing mountain, the inflatable climbing mountain. We have the, the the slide that runs down the mountain that hangs so out the, the back. So the whole gym's exterior, exterior park. gym park floating. That looks like fun. That is a lot of fun. Charter experience for sure. Yeah. You got a, a, a tender over there. Hey, that's your daily. Two, 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 two no two no This is the big one. It has this has the bimini on the front, so you can get ashore nice and dry. Uh, this one here has the drop down front, so we've just drive it right up on the beach. It's got the hydraulics here, the hydraulic goes down and runs out. Grandma Crane can walk straight on the beach, slides right out, right out the side, drops them in. 
perfect. say there is that was the generator room and it's very noisy in there it's still pretty noisy well it is but did you hear the noise outside oh, no no you're Nothing. right you no noise outside that's amazing you're and you can't hear any noise anywhere on the boat and just we, in here you're absolutely right we've been around the whole boat and not once did i hear this not one time chromed out engine room if you've been on board mega yachts you know these guys don't mess around the engines they're taken very serious. The engineers who has his own room. Look at this. These guys are in here. While you're upstairs playing, doing whatever it is you're doing, these guys are here watching everything. Oh, it's water makers, sewage treatment plants, air conditioning, generators. You know, one more. Everything that you need to run a town, you need on board a boat. You can see. Now, there's a reason why these are so clean. If there's any leak, any smoke, these guys spot it right away. That's the purpose of keeping everything so... Uh, and this is, an, this is an engine room that has two decks in it, so we're above the engines here. But we can go down to the next deck and you can actually walk around the entire engine. We have two Caterpillar 3516s running 2,300 horsepower each. You can see all of the pumps back here for the sewage treatment, for the air conditioning circulation, for the fuel systems. For we have to have bilge pumps, but we can try and keep the water mostly on the outside. Fuel purifiers over here. So massive yacht like this, how much would it cost to fuel it up? Uh, it costs about 120,000 to fuel up. 120,000 euros. Correct. So for those of you guys who don't know what 120,000 euros is, Google it because I don't know what it is either. It's about, about 140,000 dollars. 140,000. <laughs> yeah, but that'll get you across the Atlantic and back. So here we are on the bridge deck where everything happens. These guys make this thing move and um, tell us about what we got here. The berthing and maneuvering orders, like it says here, we can see what's happening. We can see where the rudder is. We can see the wind is, where the true wind is. We know what depth it is there. So this is a screen that we've got to take particular care of. You see here that the radar is on standby. So that's the radar that runs around and shows us the relative position of the vessel with everybody else and the land. And then we bring it across here. And this is the digital chart system. Digital chart system takes, takes, uh, takes over from the paper charts. Uh, you notice there's no paper charts out here because everything is done electronically these days. Everything is monitored here. Every engine, every tank, every generator, voltage, current, frequency, it's all here. Anything goes wrong, we know by looking here. Engine controls, it looks fairly simple, <laughs> but on the engine controls, it's screen after screen after screen and it's full diagnosis. Here we have the stabilizers. These are the little wings that sit out the side of the boat and keep the boat level and stable at sea. So you don't get seasick. Don't get seasick. But also when the boat's at anchor, if the boat's in the, you know, and it's rocking at sea, these things actually keep it stable at anchor as well. I love it, I love it. I'm looking forward here and it's the perfect view for a helipad. Oh yeah. So this is where this is where the guests can arrive on the helipad. We don't keep a helicopter on board, but that's a very elegant way to arrive. I, I agree. Come in, land, jump off, crew takes your luggage, whatever, and you can get right to it. Exactly. So if you don't come on a boat, you get on a helipad. Want to take a walk out there and check it out? Let's have a look. Let's do it. Peter's gone. I think we should take this thing out for a spin. There's a little bit of a dock there. This is big enough. We can blow past it. Let's go. Crew, get ready to dive. dive. Wait, this is not a submarine. This is. A sh Forget about the dive part. Let's go. You know I met you in the dark. It was a Saturday night. Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd. It was something about you, cause you got stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind. I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you. So here it is. The helipad. The helipad. You can do what you want to do with me. Yeah, I'm the king of the world. Woo! This 
Helicopter. How big of a helipad, helicopter can land on here? Uh, we can drop an AC-135 on here. The AC-135, that's one of my favorite. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. The AC-135, yeah. Or the, what do they call it now, the Airbus 135. Airbus 135, right? I'm gonna have to Google that because I don't know, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, so we can land the Airbus 135 on here. You get off either side, crew will grab your stuff inside and let the party begin. Can't store it here though, after this is a touch and go pad. Let's go land here and then drop everybody this embark, chopper goes away, put it back in the garage at home and sail away. Perfect. I love it. I think it works for me. have disco lights up here we're gonna get busy and do not ask me to dance because it's not gonna happen again <laughs> tell me about the space this they've is crazy had, they've had parties for 250 people on this deck wow up here up here and i mean take a look i mean the sound system up here is unbelievable and you know where the barbecue normally is we don't have a barbecue we have the dj station Massive speakers, both sides, and two Bass enormous in the middle, speakers up two front. Two enormous back there. Bass box. These are insane. All right, so plenty of space, party lights, TV, massive lounge area, big pool up front. Yeah, with the jump in, with, with, the, with, the, with the swimming jet. With the swimming jet, so if you want to swim, you swim in place, just like a treadmill. It's like a swimming treadmill. Swimming, the water will keep you in place. You keep swimming, and the water will push you. The minute you stop swimming, the water will push you back or forward, depending on where the water's coming from. So that's it, we've come to the end of our video, but before we leave, quick question. What would it cost to purchase this yacht and what would it cost to charter it? Well, with your, with your video channel coming online now, I think you could probably afford this. It's a mere 58 million US dollars to purchase. And if you need to charter it, you thought you'd like to charter it first, 600,000 euros a week. That's a seven day week, mind, not a, not a five day week. Seven days. Only 600,000, a little over half a million. Most of you guys can swing that without a problem. You know who you are. Um, that's the end of it. Thank you so much for having me on board. It's been a pleasure. It's a real been, fun it's, day. It's really been an absolute pleasure, Peter. Great. Peter, tell them where, if they wanted any more information, where can they find more details on the boat? More details on the boat are on our website, which is twyachts.com. And, uh, or they can email me at peter at twwyachts.com. Excellent. And you can follow them on Instagram as well, TWW Yachts. Correct, right? TWW Yachts Instagram. Perfect, I love it. So um, that's it from us. Taylor, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, I know, he's already waving now, at me. Now I was gonna tell you, let's heat this up and jump in. So that's it, we're up to wrap it up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the link down below. Follow TWW Yachts. Check them out if you guys have any more details. Taylor, I think it's time to get some lunch. Jump in here and call it a wrap. Anything else for us? Click the button below. Yes, they know. So make sure you guys also, any questions, comments, or want to correct me for any mistakes that I have made, please leave them down below. I know a lot of you guys give us a thumbs down. That's great. We appreciate it because we that's how we make it better, right? Oh. Well, we, listen, we can't we be perfect. Like thumbs <laughs> only thumbs up. <laughs> only thumbs, thumbs up. Only. <laughs> well, whatever. Either way, like it or don't like it, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we're out of here. Yep. See you later.
Lunch? Goodbye. Here we go. I'm just a little bit of 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 a